Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, What the Beck. I've been gone for, I think, the longest I've ever been gone in the history of my channel, which kind of sucks, but uh, I figured I'd just start this video and tell you why that happened. Um, I did move in December, and then I said, expect some videos in January, and I did do, I think, one video, um, which was the crochet tips video, but then I kind of fell off of that, and the reason was because... This was, this. these past few months have been the final semester of my undergraduate experience in college. Um, so yeah, I have graduated now, just yesterday on the 14th of May. Um, it kind of was a little bit sad because I didn't get to shake hands with my professors, but I'm thinking next year maybe I'll go up and sneak a handshake with them. Um, but yeah, so I don't live where my school is, so it was a bit of a process just to do all the virtual learning and keeping track of stuff and working on everything and then I also had um, a few delays with just like our fursuit business and then I also run my own crochet business as you might know if you've been on the channel um, but yeah so I was really busy I had another internship as well instead of a class because they canceled my senior class the class you're supposed to take that shows that you have absorbed and know how to apply all the knowledge of your major uh, they just didn't have that for me this year because there was low enrollment. Um, so yeah, I had to do another internship and that was a lot of work, like, unstructured. So like, it wasn't, this is your class time, this is when you work. It was more check in with your supervisor every day and make sure that you're doing your writing and all that on time. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> so yes, I did graduate. Uh, I'm going to show you my, this is my grad cap. I embroidered and... I don't think it counts as felting, but I did use felt. Uh, I got some, a little scene here, some glittery fabric for the clouds. Um, I put Sprink on here, that's my fursona, um, and then a big rainbow. And then I went through my Google Drive and sorted everything out. Um, and this was my like <laughs> culmination of my education was I wrote 131 papers for this. This being either the hat, I guess it, you could take it to mean the hat, or uh, the diploma, which I don't have just yet because they're sending those in the mail. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool. Um, everyone's asking me what I'm going to do, and my answer has just been, I'm looking for a job that will pay me what I'm worth because I am a learned individual <laughs> now. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm an alumni of my school. Um, I have these little gold beads on here, and then I don't know if you could see, I did gold stitching all along the rainbow. Um, and if you want to do this, I highly encourage you to do so. Um, you have like a semester or a year to do it at this point, because I'm pretty sure most people have already graduated at this point in the month from this semester. But um, do it on a large piece of felt first. I worked in a hoop, and that made it a lot easier to work on. Um... But then um, I just cut it out and I folded the edges under and whip stitched it on. Um, and you don't have to go through the cardboard that's in there. Just go through like the fabric. But yeah, so yeah, that's my grad cap. Um, also make sure if you do this, make sure that the way you'll be wearing it, it makes sense. So since there's writing on mine, I made sure that it was like going left to right if I'm wearing the hat with like the elastic on the back. You know what I mean? So if someone's behind you, they can see what it says. But yeah, there's that. I'm proud of that, but I kind of am over the whole graduation thing for now. I'm kind of worn out about it because we spent, I think three days straight doing pictures and the actual filming ceremony, and then they're gonna broadcast it next week, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, so graduated, that's where I've been. Um, I do want to get back into doing weekly videos. We will see how that goes, but I'm going to like not necessarily revamp, but like get back in the swing of things. Um, so I thought since I showed you that I graduated in my little grad cap project, I would show you um, a little spotlight on this store that is uh, in York, PA, which is where my school was. Um, and I now live in Maryland. Like I said, I moved in December. So um, I only went up for the day before to sign the rock, which is just like a ceremonial thing that you get to do when you graduate from York. Um, and then the next day we went up to do the actual filming for the ceremony. And I was like, can we go to the fancy yarn store? <laughs> 
um so we did and i was only planning to get one thing for myself because um it is fairly expensive not that it's not worth it but hand dyed yarn is pretty expensive um and my dad surprised me and bought me four mm, hanks i think they're called hanks i'm not gonna say skein or skein because i know people will say i say it wrong um he bought me four hanks of hand dyed yarn and it was the last four in this color um i went into the store and i told the worker there i think that was the actual owner of the store but I told her i need something that's like rainbow in either a three or four because i don't like working super tiny because i don't really do socks um but yeah so she she told, told me to look around we found one that was like a bright rainbow that was nice but it felt like straw and i didn't want to do that because i'm a fan of wearing my stuff that i make for myself um so yeah i'm just gonna show you what i got um like i said went there my dad went with me and he surprised me by buying four of these which i, I really wasn't expecting that um so yeah they're hand dyed um it's called funfetti and it is made by one sheep two sheep um we got the last four that were in stock and then there's like the specs about it um and then i think this is the knitting needle size i usually use like a four millimeter i think four or five something like that um but yeah and the, there's a little matching washi tape on it to hold it shut um so yeah i'm just gonna get all these out and show you them together um the total cost of these i think was like 100 dollars, so 25 each ish um but they're really nice they're really soft and squishy um i know this one looks way bigger than the others it's just because it's wound looser it might have like come undone and someone tried to fix it up um but yeah um you and me if you're near york at any point i would suggest going there it's a really nice cozy place and i'm pretty sure they do have like sit in crochet or knitting sessions if it's not covid or if you're vaccinated they might have started that up yet again but i don't remember <laughs> but yeah look at them they're so cool there's like pink orange yellow green blue and purple so it is a true rainbow but with pink switched for red which in my mind still counts as a rainbow color scheme even though it's not technically like a rainbow rainbow wouldn't have pink in it but look at this they're so squishy i'm not sure um what exactly i'm gonna do with it but i am looking into sweater patterns because um like i said this was all they have left i'm lucky that i am a small person and that i could probably get away with making a sweater with 800 yards so uh if you have any suggestions i'm open to looking for them because i will admit i'm a little scared to open these up without having a plan um because like once you open a hank you have to wind it up um and yeah so <laughs> uh, that's just the, i wanted to show this thank you to my dad for giving me these as a graduation gift i really appreciate it i was not expecting that at all because i went in there and he was helping me look and he was like what would you what would you make with whatever yarn you get and i was like well it depends how big it is and how much it is because like i said my budget was only like i was i saw this and i was like oh i'll get one of them and he was like oh you should see how many they have and he, he was like digging in, <laughs> in the little cubby and found the other three so yeah send me your suggestions for sweaters um maybe also in the comments leave me a comment saying uh what your favorite local i guess high end might be the word but like a yarn shop that isn't joann's or michael's or something like that um and then what color schemes do you like to work with i'm definitely a fan of rainbows or like pastel rainbows <laughs> and pink i also really like pink but yeah that's all i have for today i think my next video will be a lolita related video which i haven't done in a while and i think that's a collaboration so yes i will see you hopefully next week um with a new video bye